The 2022-23 season brought unprecedented disappointment to the Arizona State women's basketball program. In Natasha Adair's first season at the helm, the Sun Devils finished with an 8-20 overall record with an abysmal 1-17 record in conference play. The first 20-loss season in program history was a grueling one, leaving question marks surrounding the team's future. So how did it all go so wrong for ASU? Let's take a look back at the season of the disastrous Devils. It all started back in early November, where the Sun Devils got off to a hot 5-0 start, suffering just one loss in the opening month of the season to then number 7 Notre Dame. Delaware transfer Ty Skinner made her presence known in Tempe from the start, scoring 20 points in 5 out of ASU's first 7 games. While Skinner would continue to find success at the basket throughout the season, it wouldn't translate into wins for the Sun Devils, who won just two games from that point on. A hard turn in ASU's strength of schedule, facing then three top 20 teams in the country to start the new year, caused them to suffer some devastating blows to their roster, so much so that the Sun Devils were forced to forfeit to Utah and Colorado in late January due to there not being enough scholarship players available. But injuries were a problem for the Sun Devils before they even took the floor, as prior to the season, ASU lost nearly a quarter of their roster due to prolonged injuries from Maggie Besselink, UNC transfer Marasha Wiggins, and Jayla Robinson, a talented freshman out of Philadelphia. The Maroon and Gold's lack of depth increased the load on Skinner, Jaden Simmons, and Treasure Hunt significantly. The trio on average accounted for two-thirds of ASU's total points, leaving each of them carrying 34-plus minutes a night. As injured players such as Journey Thompson and Isadora Souza made their way back into the lineup, the Sun Devils found themselves in contention with talented teams down the stretch, with single-digit losses to number 21 Colorado, number 4 Utah, and eventual Pac-12 tournament champions, Washington State. These competitive matchups are what inched ASU closer to claiming their first Pac-12 victory of the season, which they did in late February against Oregon State, snapping a 16-game losing streak. The Sun Devils used their late season momentum to nearly pull off an upset win over number 19 UCLA in the opening round of the Pac-12 Women's Basketball Tournament. ASU pushed the Bruins to overtime but ultimately came up short in Las Vegas 81-70, putting an end to the first chapter of the Adair era. How Adair will write the script for next season to change the narrative of her early tenure in Tempe is now the question at hand. ASU will expect to have the same core group of Skinner, Simmons, and Hunt, but how they surround those cornerstone pieces will make the difference in the Sun Devils' success as a team. This offseason will be an important one for Coach Adair to navigate as she seeks to re-establish a winning culture in Tempe. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Blake Neiman.